Next, he has been described as the comedian's comedian, the one that everyone would turn out to watch and laugh with when he was on stage. Today, the world of comedy remembered Sean Locke, who has died at the age of 58. He was best known for his appearances as a captain on 8 Out of 10 Cats and his stand-up. The sheer number of comedians who wanted to share their memories of Sean is perhaps the best tribute to his talents. Rags Martel has been speaking to some of them. <laughs> Sean Locke in the dictionary, what, what would we find? What would be the definition of Sean Locke? If you look me up in the dictionary, you'd get a four-letter word. It's got a C in it, a U in it, and a T in it. And that word is, of course, cute. <laughs> <laughs> a panel show captain, but behind the scenes, he was the comedian's comedian. Are you sure? He was often called the comedian's comedian, which he liked. You know, he would kind of shrug it off, but, you know, I could tell he, he liked being known as that. He's one of the few where comedians would come out of the dressing room to watch him. And, you know, I, I can remember looking across at other comedians like, where's he going with this? You know, and you'd be thinking, whoa, you know, how's he going to get any laughs out of this? And then, of course, he would he'd spin it into some brilliant routine. We've been searching now for almost two weeks. Early TV roles with David Baddiel got him exposure. I say I love my wife, sometimes I'm not sure. Um... <laughs> But it was on stage he felt most comfortable. He had um, been diagnosed uh, with lung cancer a few years ago, and um, and he continued to work and, and defied all yeah, sort of medical prognosis. He got a kind of reputation of being kind of grumpy. What was he like off yeah. stage? <laughs> I mean, I think that. He liked to kind of cultivate that as a sort of persona. It's quite a good standpoint to come from comedy, like, you know, ugh, you know, just this exasperated, sort of grumpy individual who, for whom life is this constant sense of absurd and bizarre, you know, challenges. But actually, you know, he was, he was very funny off stage. He was a very, very kind and generous friend. Comedian Jimmy Carr led the tribute, saying he loved him and that he was watching clips of him right now, laughing and crying. Ricky Gervais called him one of the funniest, most influential comedians of a generation. If you're a comedian's comedian, you've got to be making the other comedians laugh, doing stuff that so that other comedians go, oh, that's good, oh, that's good. And he would do that time and time again. You can see it live on panel shows. The best way to describe me is with a fragrance. <laughs> he was kind of, I mean, I'm resisting the word wise, but he had, there was a lot of wisdom about him. Uh, uh, I mean, I can hear him sort of almost now on my shoulder, taking the mickey out of me saying that. But, uh, because he was incredibly, he could be incredibly sarcastic and withering. I, I've been reading a lot of the uh, messages that have been sent um, via social media amongst the many, many tributes from, from you know, public figures and other comedians. And one, one fan said, I love Sean. Um, he said, he looked like he was fun to be around and and that was, that was very true. So I'll miss him greatly. Bill Bailey there, remembering Sean Locke, who has died at the age of 58. The comedian Sean Locke has died from cancer at the age of 58. Performers and writers have been paying tribute today. I don't think a dictionary has got enough words in it to describe me. You know, I don't think, I don't, I think this, I'm such an... An acclaimed stand-up and like sitcom actor, he was perhaps yeah. best known for his long-running work appearing on the panel show Eight Out of Ten Cats. The comedian Sean Locke, who has died at the age of 58.